Hola and welcome to all my loyal and worthy subjects. We are broadcasting over the YouTubes. We are playing Tropico 5, which was just released. I'm very, very excited to go ahead and uh, treat my loyal subjects to a bit of pleasure, a bit of business. And we'll go ahead and see how many natural disasters will actually come and strike us this Tropico game. I'm going to be playing both the campaign as well as Sandbox. And of course, whatever you guys want, I'll be doing. I'll be reading all the comments and I'm very much looking forward to it. After all, let's go ahead and start off the campaign. I'm not even sure how many missions there are, but imagine there'd be a fair few. At least a good 20, I'd hope. We are going to be playing Changing the World. It seems like that's the only campaign. Hopefully there'll be some new ones. Uh, we are going to be playing a new dynasty. And, okay, we'll call it Santiago. It doesn't really bother me what it's going to be called. What I do want to do, though, is go ahead and create our own dictator, though. Our own El Presidente. He'll be no doubt looking mighty stylish in his uh, get-up. I'm very much looking forward to seeing all the customization <laughs> options that we've got available to us. Oh, mm, looking fine there. All right. Uh, I want to be male. And all right. I went through the names. I wish there was some other name that you could, uh, some way that you could toggle through the names a little quicker. But here we go. There's Rigoberto or Roberto. I probably will sell with Roberto because after all, after all, my name is Robert. If you haven't realized, Arsenal Robert. Um, all right. Now the skill. This is actually pretty important to have a look at because it does change the way that we play the game. Global effectiveness of production buildings is increased by two. All Tropican soldiers with general administrator. All right. So I remember back in the day of Tropico 4, I was always like the ugly traits that would get extra money from the Saudi Arabians. You got like 30,000 at the beginning of the game, which I found always very amusing. It converts two boats when cheating on elections. I don't think that's really all that many. Boats. Agitator. Uh, altruist grants $2,000 bonus starting money. Four and eight increased by 10%. I think over the course of things, that'll probably pay off a little better. Let's have a close look. Grants $200 annual income. Global effectiveness of production. Okay, we'll go with form. And I'm going to be, there's also a Latino, but we're going to go with white or Caucasian, sorry. And I think I'll just settle with the normal face. Let's go. Yes, I'm happy with that. All right, now, all right, we're in a greaser costume. Good old, uh, what was that movie with John Travolta? Name escapes me. That is a weird looking suit, though. Wouldn't really call that a casual one. Let's see, we've got Cold War get up. Yes, this is what we want. And, ooh, the Bordeaux. If anyone knows of a place where you can buy suits like this, I would absolutely love to check it out. Having a suit like this would just make my life complete. My, must hit up uh, Gaddafi's mates or something like that on the uh, email. But uh, let's go with, let's see if there's pink. We want to be a progressive leader, a progressive dictator, that is. The only type that there really should be. Uh, Bordeaux, we'll go with... Go with the actual purple pants. There we go. That's a good get up. What hair do we want? We definitely don't want an afro. Cornrows, undercut. Oh, God. This haircut seems to be really stylish these days, so we'll settle with this. Got the um, Macklemore haircut. That's what it is. At least similar. <laughs> a ginger one. Uh, oh, violet. Oh, here we go. That just made our guy ridiculous. And, oh, we've got a dictator hat. Fedora. Oh, yes. The good old cringy type of uh, dictator, best type there is, and accessories, oh, aviators, all right, I'm happy with that, let's go ahead and start things off, all right, because you know this game actually has all these errors up, dynasties so powerful that their names echo through the centuries, I'm one of them, new world, new opportunities, no limits. This island of mine could become anything. It could be a farmer's heaven, the fields reaching the horizon, and the markets full of people. Or it could be a production powerhouse, with chimneys reaching the sky, and docks busy with all sorts of exotic goods. Or it could be the paradise on Earth, a magnet for travelers from all over the world. 
a place for fiesta and fun. Sir, we're docking the ship, sir. For now, he's just a dirt poor piece of land in the middle of the ocean. Let's make it shine. Uh -huh, I look forward to making it shine. All right, so that was the, I guess, the initial uh, cutscene. Um, we'll, we'll go with occasional disasters. We don't want them to keep on coming. Like in Tropico 4, it was just ridiculous in some missions. All right, we'll go with all of that. All right, we can actually choose where we want to go. Oh, Bow Bow looks very interesting. Hmm. Let's just uh, let's choose Bow Bow. This seems a lot more interesting. Something completely different. It seems like it's a very small island. Okay. Ah, the Caribbean. A lush and untamed land. My new home. Beautiful and full of promise. A new beginning, far from the politics of the old world. A chance to start fresh and do things my way. I'm tired of the musty weather and rigid thinking back home. I need a change. I was appointed governor of this island. Not that anyone else wanted the job anyway. My unique approach to government will make this colony the most prosperous in the Caribbean. <laughs> How hard can it be? You just need some planks, a few nails, and a trusty advisor to shout at. I need to. I don't think we're going to have much of a government. Welcome to the Caribbean. Allow me to introduce myself, Lord Oaksworth, His Majesty's emissary to the region. His Majesty has graciously given you this colony to rule in his name for a number of years, indicated by a mandate. Complete the tasks sent by His Majesty, and may and I'll make sure that you get extensions to your term as governor. All right. So at the moment, we're just a chump, really. We're just a governor. Okay. Interesting. Also, I've noticed that there's like a little fog of war or something. The, we need to spread out more and more. Something a little bit different. I haven't really noticed this, but that seems pretty interesting. Also, I am playing this on the highest settings and all. We've got a couple of missions, though, to do. His Majesty needs money to build a new underwater palace. Oh, wow. He wants you to begin growing money. I mean, one of those crops that <laughs> make heaps of cash. A cash crop. Carry out His Majesty's wishes, and you'll be rewarded with an extension to your mandate, as well as other benefits. So we're going to build one plantation of sugar and will be increased by six months. Uh, and I guess that's our mandate for four years. Now, I'm going through this completely blind. I did not play uh, any of uh, the tutorial or anything like that. So I'm pretty clueless in terms of uh, what's different, I guess. Uh, however, this game is very, very similar to the previous ones. Is that a mine? All oh, right, so now, okay. I think they changed the ways that mines worked. They actually make sense now. Instead of just being on the ground, they're actually in caves and all. That makes a bit more sense than what they were. You can see our El Presidente walking on the ground as well. Voice in my head. <laughs> He's got some voice in his head. It's probably me. All right, so now that we've built that road, what we can do, controls are pretty much exactly the same. What I want to do is let's go to raw resources, plantation, and we want a sugar crop. All right, let's check out where that's going to grow well, pretty well over here. So, place that there. All right, that's one mission down. Greetings, old chap. Have I got a deal for you today? As Crown representative, I can offer you your very own trading license. Mm -mm. Nothing like a bit of that moolah, especially British moolah. Nothing quite like the smell of British moolah. I can start you off with a silver package that includes a trading license and a free trade ship. However, for a man such as yourself, I have to recommend the Platinum Package. That includes all features of the Silver Package, as well as not one, not two, but three special trade offers to start you off. Alright, uh, let's go buy the Platinum Package. Or buy trade license from the Dutch. <laughs> so then the Crown doesn't like us as much. Let's go with the Platinum Package. I'm not one to settle for less. I want the best for my citizens, after all. Have a look at some overlays. Alright. Uh, islands, beauty, pollution and all that, and 
We've got crime, liberty, and electricity and all. Alright. Cool, cool. Of course, Tropico wouldn't be Tropico without shacks and slums and all of that. I think we've got a fair amount of money. Uh, let's check out our dock. Uh, it doesn't really say what year it is. But clearly, it's we're not really all that advanced. You can also speed the game up a little bit. Uh, people don't like us that much at all. We should improve some things there. Ooh, there's a lot of things that you can read over here. Pretty cool. Alright, do we have any more missions? Oh, we're still building this. Yeah, still building it. Uh, put that on high construction priority. There we go, 52%. Speed things up a little bit, maybe. There we go. His Royal Majesty has instructed me to present you with this letter of commendation for your achievements in the name of the Empire. His Majesty is satisfied with your progress. He has extended your mandate as a show of gratitude. In addition, you can turn in the letter of commendation for one of these fabulous rewards. Oh, a personal gift, which is money to our Swiss bank account, which we can siphon off and that'll give us a bit of an extra score at the end of the mission. Or additional mandate, 12 months mandate extension. Oh, let's see. Let's, well, see the personal gift, I don't really understand the point of the Swiss bank stuff because I mean you do get extra points and all but they're just virtual points they don't unlock anything for you I'm pretty sure at least they didn't in Tropico 4 whereas your treasury subsidy you're actually able to use that get some uh, tangible things in your city instead of just a high number of digits on your screen really technological progress is the path to autonomy governor we need more scientists to think important thoughts and discover new stuff. New stuff. How can you say no? Researching new technologies will allow us to improve our economy and society and help us break the shackles of our imperial masters. Research buildings require educated workers. You may have to hire them from abroad. Evita Vasquez, she looks very similar to Miss Pineapple, who was the uh, education lady in Tropico 4. Uh, research buildings require educated workers. You may have to hire from a board. So we've got to build a library. Easy peasy. What if I click on this? Progress. Okay. It's exactly that. It just repeats itself. Um, so, we need to go down over here. And where would research and education library? We'll place it right over here next to El Presidente's palace, so we're going to be able to study up if we so choose. Uh, in the meantime though, maybe I could do with a couple of houses for the people. We should be making a bit of money soon, hopefully, out of the uh, cash crops. We started to grow. You can actually see him grow if we zoom in like this. And I guess if you time lapse over like 30 seconds, you will be able to see him grow. I'm seeing the pixels move a little by little. Pretty cool. Now, I'm trying to get used to the controls a little bit, but I'm pretty good with that. Uh, new library, almost built. There we go. We are the shadows that move the world. We rule in secret. We are the salvation of mankind. We are the order, and you will be one of us. All right. One for the conspiracy theorists. I've been watching your career with interest, Governor. I sense great potential in you. However, joining the order is not so trivial. Trivial. You must first prove yourself, gain your independence from the crown, and you'll be one of us. Declare independence, and we win the mission. To declare independence, you have to increase your popular support above 50%. To do this, the happiness, um, to improve the happiness and take steps to increase the revolutionaries on your island. Okay, so we need to declare independence right now. We could do that in multiple ways, I'd assume, by giving our people a little bit more money, increasing their wages, or providing them, uh, what I used to love doing is spamming like gardens and stuff. That helped out a lot. Um, increases beauty. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, 
Let's go that. Unfortunately, the music stopped. The music makes such a big difference to Tropico. It's so good. It fits the theme really well. All right, we made a bit of money through exports. So let's go get a house now. What's that? Infrastructure. Okay. Unlocked in modern times. All right, so at the moment, we're just in, I guess, the colonial era. Get a country house or two. All right, that's enough. I don't want too much. I can't believe we're finally playing this. I've been looking forward to this game for so long. It's just unbelievable that we're finally here. Oh, that's so cool. There's guys on horse and cart. Oh, well, they're just on cart. There's no horses, though. That's pretty funny. And the crown sends us $5,800. Being able to stand on your own is a virtue I personally cherish. Self-sufficiency should be every country's goal. That is very true indeed. This is a lesson I would like you to learn well. Show me that you can stand on your own and become a profitable colony and I'll help you with your revolution. Have $15,000 and we get 12 educated revolutionaries who will mi migrate to your island. Alright, we can also research um, some things. I haven't really checked this out. Let's go with uh, the shovel. Get some mine upgrades and I'll be able to build a mine. Was it over here? I'm pretty sure it was there. Royal resources, mine. Okay, we need to research the shovel, actually. I thought the shovel would give us a bonus. But no. Alright, so the people are now at 23% happiness. It's not too bad. We'll just keep on saving that money. Speed things up a little. We're gonna wait a couple of months. We've got... Okay, that's how long we've gotten out turn. So I've got a lot of time to procrastinate and all. His Majesty has commissioned the finest architects to design. Okay. Uh, I might actually get another sugar cash crop, actually. Let's see how much we export now. When's the next? Here we go. <laughs> Steamboat. That is so cool. The Angelina. 2,538 sugar. Right, so next ship will be good. The burden of ruling twists our perception of humanity. To us, people are just a resource that has to be managed properly. He's definitely got the mind of a leader. A great leader, that is. Increasing the tax base is always a good idea. Speaking of managing people, you can attract additional managers to your island. You can then assign them to your most important buildings to improve their performance. All you need is to build some new housing for the managers. Oh, so the country houses that I built don't count. Shucks. Alright, uh, let's go build them then. Country houses. One, two, three, four, five. Alright, and then we'll go with roads. Oh, I'm actually losing money. This ain't looking good. Hopefully that doesn't cause too many problems with the people. Wouldn't want that to happen. And then build a road here. There we go. All these country houses should really help us out. Great news. While searching through the crates of colony supplies, we found a sickle. Now we have something that goes perfectly with our hammers. This will boost production sky high. I can almost see the glorious future. Okay. Plantation upgrades unlocked. Uh, so this should help us out quite a bit with that. So let's see what else we can research. We're going for the shovel now. I guess. No, wait. We can, once we research, this shovel will be good. So, oh wow, there's actually a lot of things that you can research. The internet, wow, that's so good. Space, flexible, the wheel. Oh, what's this? Socialism. Okay. So at the moment, okay, I think what we what happens is that as you play through the campaign, it will save what you've progressed through, and then you get to keep the 
additions, which will be pretty I addictive. Say, being a crown colony is a kind of competition. One you are losing, old chap. The colonies of Puerto Coco and Isla Rojo <laughs> are beating you badly. Okay. Clearly the English have invaded the Caribbean. Uh, in fact, the islands of Puerto Rico and Isla Rojo are, being, are doing so well that the crown has come to expect much more from you also. His Majesty has decided since the region is doing quite well, all colonies should pay a higher tax this year. I can't afford to pay the tax, so... Screw the crown, we'll give him the middle finger. Especially once uh, we'll be I see the houses a Republican. Already. Unfortunately, the islands of Puerto Coco and Isla Rojo <laughs> have kidnapped the managers intended for you. No wonder they're doing so well. As I understand, it, they offered large mansions to get the managers from under your nose. Uh, don't worry too much about it. You get, uh, you'll get, be able to get back at them at some point. In the meantime, I used the orders connections to get an extension to your mandate. Sounds good. We're back to four years. My good fellow, I have it from a very reliable source. Okay. A gold deposit, you say. That's iron. So we have to find a gold deposit. How exactly is this? Okay, so that's iron as well. I'm just going to look through here. Unless we need to get rid of the fog of war or something. I don't think that'd be the case, but you never know. Here we go. Okay, no, that is definitely going to be a mine, I think. Our research team, that is to say me, discovered the shovel 40 times. Wow. If I find out Impressive. who put it there, I will kill him. Anyway, I gave it to the miners so they can put it somewhere safe. Like, underground. What the hell happened to Penultimo's voice? Penultimo is not Penultimo without his unique voice. I guess that's His still pretty Royal good Majesty has instructed me to present you with this letter of commendation for your achievements in the name of the Empire. Definitely need to get on top of that treasury subsidy again. Uh, so my good fellow, I being able we are the ship. My, my being able to stand on your My own. good fellow, I have All right. uh, so how exactly can we find the gold maybe? Wait, let's get rid of this. I'll be able to have a look at overlays. Um, okay, well, I guess now you're not able to have a look at those overlays, though, are you? Of mines and all. Oh, cool. I kind of like this. We can have some uh, updates like this, and then three citizens left Tropico as well. Which is no good. Uh, but we need to get some more money. We're doing quite well at the moment. But we need to find that gold deposit. We've got some ruins here as well. Is there any way that you can get rid of that? No. I don't think so. But that's an iron deposit. Hmm. So is this. Alright, well, let's see. This hot keying R. Yeah, okay, that gives us rates. Aha. Uh -huh. So, we need to figure out how you explore different areas. In the meantime though, let's go research something. And a lumber mill. Now, that'd be good enough. We need to go ahead and build some more buildings then I guess. So, let's go build. Let's see, what should I settle for? I think I'll go with another... No, we'll actually go with a mine. And I'll place mine, that mine over there. Build a road like so. That'll solve a lot of our problems. Now I wonder how the uh, fog will go. Hopefully someone will drive by. Hopefully, soon. There we go. And there's some noob on a horse and, or on a cart. Three, three of them. Four. Although they're leaving. And we're bringing in more money. Good to see. Don't tell me you guys are all left. Everyone left that was building this. And we're so close to finishing it. Bunch of lazy bums. That's for certain. Alright. 
What's this mission? Why will His Majesty find your eyes? His Royal Majesty. Okay. <laughs> that was pretty nifty. I needed to research something that I've already researched. Okay. The mine has been built. Very nice. 